Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA. Joining me here today in amazing Honolulu, Hawaii at PTC 2018, my friend Mr. Shane Unfred. He is the president of Midori Interactive. Shane, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you very much. Nice to be here. It's nice to have you. So for our viewers who may not already know, can you tell us a little bit about Midori Interactive and the carrier benefits? Yeah, so Midori Interactive, our real goal is to help carriers create new revenue streams and also improve customer service through different communication technologies such as chatbots. And Midori has an in-depth knowledge of telecom as well as messaging. Um, technologies mm -hmm. and our clients look at us as a trusted advisor to help them navigate the world of messaging and voice and deliver a solution that makes them money. And one of the benefits that I read on your site is uh, is also not just cost efficiency but uh, security, is that right? Yeah, there is security and, and there's a level of security at the network level that we have to have in today's world but there's also the security for clients to be able to set up different levels of security for their users to, to create. So you have a company level that can go out and create new companies and then a super user that can create chatbots and other things. And then you have a user that can create the messaging that goes along with the chatbot. So it's very secure. So from a user perspective, like, tell us a little bit about the Midori infrastructure. What are we going to see when we go on there? So the Midori infrastructure really is simple. The back is very complex and more technical oriented than I am, uh, but it's we made it simple for somebody that can has no programming language can go out there and be able to create messaging technology. So there's really five things that I think about when Midori, the five C's, the ability to create, the ability to customize, the ability to con um, communicate and connect and then conduct business. All those things can be done by somebody with five minutes of training on the website to go out and create new messaging. Well, we love that as marketers, uh, I gotta say. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I noticed too a tool called Text Protect. Yes. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more? Is it that is that just one chatbot template that you offer? It, it is, but it's more than that. It's Text Protect is about ability to put on a customer's protection of their number, mm -hmm. right? Whether it's a local number, a toll-free number, but the ability to ensure it doesn't get hacked or moved without your written approval. So Text Protect is really the first instance where consumers, uh, enterprises, carriers get into the messaging space. So there's a customer journey, right? How do I do messaging? I don't understand messaging. Text Protect your number. We can set it up so you can understand how many text messages you're actually getting in in a month. Mm. What are your customers asking for? Many customers don't understand, right? And then you get into the chatbots and interactive communications of FAQs or small businesses that say, hey, I want to be able to provide my customers the ability to text in to find out when's the hours, what's the location of my establishment, what discounts do I have available, right? How many times do you, Today, you have the ability to call in or search the web, but how many times do you wish you had the ability to text into a business to get what you want? Yeah, actually, we could use this. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of common questions that we receive that it would be just nice to have. Right, and that's where the carriers, right, the carriers win because they get new revenue streams. The enterprises win because they can now focus on the things that they need to do to be successful, not deal with the repetitive, mundane type tasks. Right. And the consumer wins because now they have another communication channel to reach that business to find out information that they seek when they want. And you can use big data analytics to really fine tune and, and figure out which uh, question is, or is being asked most frequently and what's it's, sort yeah, of exactly, working. Exactly. I love exactly. This. I love this. Okay, so what can we expect from Midori Interactive come 2018? We're going to continue doing what we're doing, is making the platform simple, mm. easy to use, uh, make it to where carriers can continue to leverage our expertise in both the telecom and the messaging space, and then also add in new flavors of technologies that come about, much of which are in the press today, nobody really understands it, um, and advancements as we continue with AI and natural language. 
Uh, Shane, it is a pleasure to have you here. You guys are really on the cutting edge of uh, chatbot technology, and we look forward to uh, looking for more information on Midori. Where can our viewers go who want to learn more? Uh, go to midori.ai, and there's information on the website, and there's ways for, uh, for you to get in contact with myself or others at Midori Interactive. There you go, guys, Midori.ai. Shane, thank you for joining us. Thank you. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV. Thank you.